Now the biological half life can be estimated by two methods. The methods first method is known as the rate of excretion method. That means here using the excretion data, you have to find out the excretion rate of the drug. We have already seen that excretion rate corresponding to different time intervals can be estimated by dividing the amount excreted in that time interval divided by the time interval, width of the time interval that gives the excretion rate. So as per this equation, for example, the variable here is x u by x dt, x u is the amount excreted in the urine divided by the t time, delta t means the time difference, so it is the rate of excretion. This figure corresponds to rate of excretion and the rate of the relationship between the rate of excretion and the time can be given by this equation log dx u by dt is equal to log k e where k e is the excretion rate constant and x0 the dose given and minus k l t by 2.303 where k l is the elimination rate constant. So k l stands for elimination rate constant whereas k e stands for excretion rate only. So as per this again this is uh, this equation is of the type y is equal to mx plus c. So whenever it is a linear equation you can easily plot a graph taking the two variables. What are the two variables? The time is one variable on the x axis and then this entire function that means otherwise called log of excretion rate. Why you have to take logarithm is again the excretion rate just like elimination rate is directly proportional to the concentration and hence the excretion process also obeys first order kinetics. In the first order kinetics the variable is always a log variable and that is the reason why you have to always take a log function of the variable and hence this is just similar to your y is equal to mx plus c linear regression where on the x axis you take the time. So this time means here particularly the midpoint of the time because why it is midpoint is we have already discussed a particular rate is assigned to the midpoint of that particular time interval. That means during 0 to 1 hour first you estimated the amount of drug excreted during that time interval that divided by the time interval gap that means width you got the rate. So this rate is the average rate over the entire time period which is assigned to the midpoint and hence that is the reason why in this method the variable here is midpoint of the time interval and that is always in hours okay and then on the y axis you have to take log d x u by d t that same thing and this is a linear regression you will get the type of the linear regression is just similar to what you observed. So in the case of oral it is a slightly increasing in the initial times reaching a peak and later on you find a perfect linear regression in the case of oral. In the case of IV right from the beginning you find a linear regression. This is for IV dose, this is for oral dose. Why the curves are similar? Why the two curves are just similar to the plasma concentration versus time plots? Why they are similar? The reason is the excretion rate is directly proportional to the plasma concentration. So whatever changes you find in the plasma concentration is reflected by the changes, corresponding changes in the excretion rate and hence the plot of excretion rate versus time is just similar to the plot of plasma concentration versus time in the case of blood.